Hello good people, it's Rob Lee. I want to do a video for you. It's not the uh, video that I had originally planned on doing. I was working on a little 40-45 minute video, but I want to talk to you about demonic attacks and censorship. Uh, I've been under censorship since this channel began. Maybe not for the first three months when Google thought that I might join them. Then they quickly realized that he doesn't serve the synagogue of Satan. In fact, he's here for just the opposite. I want to read a comment to you. This is from Louise. I just want to read the comments here and I want you to understand and I want you to think about something that what I'm going to tell you because this is going to happen. It says, Hiya. Hope you're all okay. You're going to find this very strange. I also have a witness who has also tried and failed. I cannot by any means scroll up and down on your videos. I don't just mean one. I mean them all. I've tried, lo I've tried loads of time to read the comments. Won't let me sends me right back to the top of the video but I've watched all sorts of crap to see if it was just my phone playing up no problem this is no lie what she's saying this is just my channel and no not because I'm special it's because the channel is glorifying the Almighty Father the channel tells the truth the channel has people on it that are of the flock of Jesus Christ to see if it was just my phone Playing up, no problem. This is no lie. What has happened, if this has something to do with Google and the, and the venom spitters, of course it has to do with the serpents. Just how far can they do with technology? Something has been pressing on my mind for a, a few months now. To get, to get rid of this phone and never get another. I'm having bad attacks. I'm not been sleeping. I'm waking up at 3 a.m. every morning. This has happened over the last few years, but started again. Terrible nightmares. So tired from not sleeping. I can't sleep more than three hours in pain. I'm getting attacks. People not being nice and me, and me feeling like it's me from other people. And my daughter, who is doing horrible things to get me angry, and I'm telling her not to do these things every day. Then she's smiling, won't listen. Please help me, Rob, his wife. Please pray for me. We've got to pray for one another. And then Jen says that something is up even after I put a comment. The comment count did not change. Folks, they conceal. So I started, what I did here, folks, I went and I prayed about it. And I went and I started, uh, I wrote a maybe a 10, 10 line paragraph that I wanted to put on lots of videos to explain to people what was going on. And as soon as I did that, my father gave me the 300th subscriber and I think that was the father letting me know things and things are going to be all right folks this happens to us all the time why do you think Google censors us man why do you think they censor me why do you think they erase your comments why do you think they hide your comments why do you think why do you think they lie about the numbers why do you think they conceal my videos because we tell the truth it's a form of demonic attack it's a physical and spiritual war that that we we are in we are fighting the devil himself and all of his minions and this is going to get worse folks you're going to be attacked and you're going to be attacked in your physical life and your spiritual life this is going to happen you are not like the church goers these are not followers of jesus christ okay they are churchites they are christianites they're not real followers of jesus christ and all this hell is going to take its toll on you it's going to make you feel alone it's going to make you feel weak it's going to make you feel broken that's why i'm constantly putting out the videos trying to give you strength trying to give you courage and the father moves me to do, to do these videos because i'm trying to warn you he's trying to warn you through a lowly man like me of what's to come You've got to read your Bibles, folks. You've got to pray, and you've got to pray for one another. And when I say pray, I mean pray not only for yourself, but pray for one another. We are in a war, folks. And if you will pray, and if you will wake up every day and serve your Father and try to please Him, your shield, your shield will catch some of the fiery darts that the devil will, that he will throw at you because they are going to happen. And some of you may, may be saying, well, it hasn't really happened to me yet. Trust me, it's going to happen. You're all going to get a piece of it. You're all, as, as they say, you're all going to get a taste of it. The devil's going to come knocking for all of you. He's already knocked on my door many, many times. He's going to come knocking for all of you because you are, the, are of the flock of Jesus Christ. And if you don't want it to happen, simply deny Jesus Christ and join him. But if you do love Jesus and if you're willing to give it all to him, then you got to be willing to prepare for this war and for this battle. 
I rebuke you, Google. I rebuke you, the synagogue of Satan. I rebuke you and I cast you back to hell. In the name of Yeshua, I do it. I ask you all again to pray for one another. And remember, Matthew 28, 18 says that it is Jesus Christ who has all the power in heaven and in earth. Your king has all the power. You got to go to that power source constantly. God bless you all.